All right, super quick tutorial for you today. We're gonna jump into the Fusion page of DaVinci Resolve. We're gonna take a look at how to do a really super easy beginner friendly zoom in transition and zoom out transition. And if you're a channel member, you're in luck because you're gonna be getting the macros for both these transitions absolutely free. Also, this video is sponsored by Mixkit. More on that later. All right, let's jump into DaVinci Resolve. I've got two sets of clips here. One of them is a drone shot of a city moving into kind of a closer version of a city. I don't know if they're the same city. They're, it's stock footage, but either way, we're gonna do a zoom in transition between this drone shot and this ground level shot. And then next, we've got a woman talking on her phone, and then we're gonna zoom out to a time lapse of a city, probably not the same city. Again, stock footage, I have no way of knowing. All right, let's take a look at our first set of clips. This is where we're gonna do our zoom in transition. First thing we wanna do is get our playhead in between our two clips. And what we wanna do is we wanna actually move backwards one second because we're gonna make this a one second transition. Now there's a couple different ways you can do this. One way requires you to know the frame rate of your timeline, which you should know anyway. So for example, if you have a 24 frames per second timeline like I do, you would need to move backwards 24 frames. The other way to do it, the much easier way to do it, is just to come up here and click on the time code in the top right of your playback monitor and just hit minus 100 and it will move you back one second. All right, let's go ahead and place a cut there. And then we wanna move forward half a second. So for 24 frames per second, we wanna move forward 12 frames. So let's go ahead and do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And then we're gonna take our second clip, we're gonna move it up and we're gonna butt it up against our playhead. And then from there, we're going to move our playhead to the end of our one second long clip. We're gonna cut our second clip and we're just gonna drag the remaining portion of our second clip down to video one. Let's go ahead and zoom in. And next thing we wanna do is actually create a fusion clip out of these two clips. So we're gonna highlight them both. We're gonna right click and we're gonna go new fusion clip. And that will create a fusion clip in our timeline and place it in our media pool. So let's go ahead and move our playhead to the beginning of our fusion clip. Make sure our fusion clip is selected and we're gonna move over to the fusion page. And when you get to the fusion page, you're gonna find something like this. You're gonna have a media in one, a media in two, you're gonna have a merge node and you're gonna have a media out. Go ahead and move these over to the center so we can get a better look. And let's take a look at exactly what's happening here, starting with the media in nodes. Media in is basically just the clips that we're adding to our fusion composition. So if we hover over media in one, two little dots are going to appear below it. If we click that left dot, it's gonna place media in one into our left viewer and we can see that it's the shot of the, the drone, the drone shot of the city. Wow, I had a really hard time saying that. And if we move about halfway through our composition to frame number 12, which is where we cut over to our next shot, if we hover over media two and we come down to these little two dots and click left view, you'll see that media two is our ground level shot of the city. And then our merge node is taking our two clips and all of the effects that we're going to apply to those two clips and it's combining them together and sending them over to media out, which is our final project. And that's what we can see in our right viewer. So this is basically the most bare bones fusion composition you're going to find. You got a couple of clips going into a merge node and then going in to our final product. Now we need a way to zoom into both of these clips, maybe add a little bit of motion blur to make it look like a more natural transition. And we can do all of that with transform nodes. So first thing we want to do before we add any transform nodes is we want to right click anywhere in the node area. We're going to come down to arrange tools. It's already, it's already selected to grid. We want to make sure that is selected because that way when you start moving things around, it's going to be nice and organized like so nice straight lines, easier to keep track of everything that way. 
All right, so let's add some transform nodes. First thing we're gonna do is click on media in one. Remember that's our drone shot. And we're gonna click on this little transform icon right here. And that's gonna add a transform node to media in one. Now let's go ahead and do the same thing for media in two. We're gonna select media in two, come up here, click transform. And now we've got a transform node for media in two. All right, next thing that we're going to do is add a little bit of zoom here. So we're gonna make sure our playhead's back at the beginning of our composition. We're gonna select transform one. We're going to come into our inspector and right next to where it says size, we're gonna click this little diamond to set a keyframe. From there, we're gonna move forward 12 frames, which is right where it cuts over to our second clip. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And we're gonna make our size in the inspector. I'm gonna change that to two, hit enter. It's automatically gonna set a new keyframe at that point. So now if we come back to the beginning, and we start moving forward frames, you can see we're zooming in to the city. And then one other thing that we wanna do with this node is we wanna come into our inspector and we're gonna click settings and we're just gonna check motion blur and we're gonna keep all of the default settings. We're not gonna worry about changing anything because we just want a little bit of natural motion blur you can see if I come back to the beginning of the composition, you can already see a little bit of motion blur going on there. And if I move forward, now we've got some nice motion blur. All right, let's move on to our next clip. And what we're gonna do is make sure that transform two is selected. We're gonna come into our inspector. We're gonna drop our size down to 0.25. Now let's go ahead and set a key frame on our size. And you'll notice that when we change the size, you can see that drone shot surrounding our new shot. We don't want that. So what we're gonna do to take care of that is come down to edges, hit that drop down box and change it to mirror. And now all you're gonna see is different mirrored images of the closer shot of our city, which looks a little weird, but when it's all put together, it'll look fine. So don't worry about that for now. Let's go ahead and move on. We're gonna move forward to frame 23, which is the second to last frame of our composition. And we're going to change our size to one. That's automatically gonna set a keyframe. And then we're gonna do the same thing, come into settings and we're gonna hit motion blur. We're gonna add some motion blur there. So now if we bring our playhead back to the beginning and we just scroll through frame by frame, you'll see we're zooming in on the city and then it changes over to our new clip. And there you go. And if we actually play that, you can see it's a little bit choppy here we wanna make that a little bit more smooth. Let me, let me show you exactly what we're looking at here. We're gonna come back to the edit page. We're gonna let this render out a little bit. And if we play this, you'll see that it's a really choppy transition. You can easily see where it switches over the clips. We really don't want that. We wanna make that more smooth. And what we wanna do is make it so it's slowly going into the zoom in the beginning of the clip, and then it's quickly coming out of the zoom in the second clip, if that makes sense. We're gonna do that using splines. So let's go ahead and come back to the beginning of our fusion clip, come back into the fusion page. And if we come up here to the top right of DaVinci Resolve, you'll see spline. Go ahead and select that. And you'll see that our spline area has appeared. And what we wanna do first is with transform one, which is our drone shot, if we remember correctly, we can go ahead and click on that and you'll see our drone shot right here. These are our keyframes that we set and you can see they're really jagged. They're not smooth at all. So we wanna change that. And like I said, we wanna make it so it starts off nice and slow. 
So now we've got a slow climb into that zoom, but we want it to be really, really fast. So let's go ahead and zoom this out a little bit or zoom this in, come back to our keyframes. There we go. And we're just gonna bring this down. And now you can see it's got a smooth transition into our zoom and then it really speeds up towards the end. Now we're gonna come into our, well, first we're gonna deactivate the transform one. We're gonna make it so we can't see that. We're gonna activate Transform 2. Let's go ahead and zoom that a little bit. And now we're going to do the exact opposite. We're going to click this keyframe and we're going to make it so it's super fast in the beginning. And then it slows down at the end. Now let's make sure our playhead is back at the beginning of our composition. Let's go ahead and play that. And that's looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and go back to the edit page. Let that render out real quick. And now if we play that back, we've got our drone shot, start zooming in, and then it zooms into that street level shot. So that was a super easy zoom in transition. Now I used all stock footage using this and that stock footage actually came from today's sponsor, Mixkit. Mixkit is a one-stop shop for absolutely free stock footage, music, and sound effects that you can use in both your personal and commercial projects. They even have effects templates for Premiere Pro, After Effects, Final Cut, and even DaVinci Resolve, which is kind of unheard of. Mixkit is brought to you by the people over at Envato, who have a long track record of providing high quality assets for your video project. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, make sure you click the link in the description and check out Mixkit today. Thanks so much to Mixkit for sponsoring this video. Now let's take a look at this zoom out transition. All right, let's go ahead and recap this footage. We've got a woman talking on her phone. It's going to zoom out to this time lapse of the city. And we're gonna set this up the exact same way as we did our zoom in transition. We're gonna place our playhead back in between our two clips, we're gonna move backwards one second. So we're gonna hit minus 100. We're gonna go ahead and cut, and we're gonna move forward 12 frames. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Then we're gonna move our second clip up against the playhead, move our playhead to the end of our one second long clip, cut our second clip, and move the remainder down to the original video track. Zoom in to get a better look. And let's go ahead and create our fusion clip. We're gonna right click, new fusion clip. And let's move our playhead back to the beginning of that fusion clip. Make sure the fusion clip is selected and head into fusion. Let's get rid of our splines for now because we don't really need them. And let's move our nodes towards the center so we can see everything better. There we go. Make sure everything's nice and organized. And you'll see everything set up the exact same way. We've got a media in, we've got a media in two, we've got a merge and we've got a media out. So let's go ahead and continue setting up the exact same way that we did before. We're gonna set a transform node for media in one. So we're gonna select media in one and hit transform. And then we're gonna hit media in two and hit transform again. And let's just get a little bit more organized here. There we go. Now here's where things get a little bit different. Instead of doing the zoom in on the first clip and then a zoom in on the second clip, we're actually going to do a zoom out on both of these clips. So let's go ahead and start with transform one. We're gonna make sure we select that. We're gonna come into our inspector. We're gonna hit a keyframe on size. And then we're gonna move forward 12 frames. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And we're gonna drop this size down to 0.25. And if we go back one frame, you'll see once again, 
we've got a whole bunch of dead space surrounding our clip. So we're gonna come down to edges. We're gonna change that to mirror. And we're gonna come over to settings and we're gonna hit motion blur. All right, let's move back to the middle of our composition, frame number 12, and we're gonna come over to transform two. And this time what we're gonna do is we're gonna come into size and we're gonna change that from one to two. Hit enter. And we're gonna set a keyframe on the size. And then we're gonna move to frame 23. And we're gonna change our size back to one. And we're gonna come into settings and we're gonna choose motion blur. And if we remember correctly, if we just did that, it would be a very choppy transition between the two. It looks like two separate clips. So what we wanna do is we're gonna move our playhead back to the beginning. We're gonna open up our splines. Let's go with transform one first. We're gonna do the same thing. We wanna make this nice and slow in the beginning and nice and fast at the end. Let's get rid of those, open up transform two. And this time it's gonna be nice and fast in the beginning. And nice and slow at the end to ease back in to our next clip. Let's do a quick test run here in the fusion page. Once it plays through once, it'll start playing through smoothly. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Let's see how it looks with everything surrounding it. I'm gonna let that render out a little bit. And let's go ahead and play that back. Got a woman and then zooms out to the city. That's looking pretty, pretty good to me. Again, if you wanna get your hands on the macro for this transition, they are available for free to anybody who is a member of this channel. So if you're not a member of this channel, make sure you click that join button down below this video and sign up today. In the meantime, if you wanna see something else that's pretty cool that you can do with Fusion, click here. And for more tools, tips, and tricks that'll make you a better video editor, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.